For over 20 years, Brat Guide's new Travel Writer of the Year competition has been seeking out and championing new writing talent. Previous winners and finalists in the competition have gone on to see their work in books on the shelves at Stanford's. Again this year, Brat Guides have teamed up with the Edward Stanford Travel Writing Awards to offer this unrivaled opportunity for previously unpublished travel writers. Here is Brat's co-founder and director, Hilary Brat, to present this award. It's that time of year again, time for the Brat New Travel Writer of the Year Award. And uh, this year, uh, the theme was, I'd love to go back. And I think because it was COVID year, it was a particularly high standard. It's always a high standard, but it was particularly high because people were reflecting on travels that they'd enjoyed so much in the past and places that they'd love to go back to just for a special reason. And there was a wonderful variety of entries. But we cut it down to four. We couldn't do three, which is the official amount. Um, so let's look at the four finalists first. Uh, in alphabetical order, we've got The Man I Met by Mark Jones, which was a return to New York and a reacquaintance with a very special piece of art in the Metropolitan Museum. And the judges said vivid descriptions of New York's appeal with an imaginative focus and then ending with a philosophical twist. Next was Hope in Pink Meringue by Anita King, a young girl dancing in the doorway of an ice cream parlor in Damascus sparks a personal memory. The judges said a controlled, confident piece of writing, all the more impressive considering the raw subject matter, vivid descriptions and a solid structure makes for a compelling, heartbreaking tale. Then we have Who Are You by Tom Swithenbank. Two backpackers, an Englishman and a German, are confronted by officialdom in Kazakhstan. The judges said a typical traveler's tale told with birth and economy, which packs an emotional punch at the end. And finally, there's 585 Berry Road by Jennifer Thompson. A childhood trip to Bolton for a family Christmas is recalled during COVID confinement. The judges said a warm and affectionate picture of a time long past, studded with small and evocative details that bring the theme alive. The winner, however, was uh, a winner by a wide margin. All the judges agreed it was unanimous. And the winner is Hope in Pink Meringue by Anita King. And this was a fantastic piece. This is a fantastic piece. It was so moving but I had difficulty rereading it for the judging because I cried so much that, that I had to give it a break. And I think anyone who reads it who doesn't feel at least tears pricking behind their eyes has, has no heart. So congratulations, Anita. This is really splendid writing. And we felt also that you could write about anything, not, not just about this particular meeting. All four finalists will be included in Travel Right, which is an anthology celebrating 25 years of the competition, which Brett is publishing this autumn. So starting with the very earliest finalists and winners to uh, this year's. And Stanford's, of course, will be selling the anthology. Stanford's has been involved with the competition right from the beginning. So you'll all be able to buy it. And thank you, Stanford's.